Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Cindy here from CLB Craft Creations with another card in our holiday card series. I believe this is day 11. Um, this week we're going to feature, we're not going to feature just a single stamp set. It'll be um, multiple projects. So um, we're going to be using Sheltering Tree, believe it or not. And we're also going to use the Versatile Christmas. Um, I love the sayings in this set. So uh, we're going to be pulling in those two pieces. All right. Now, to get started, we need a piece of Whisper White, which is cut at um, four, uh, three and three quarters by five. Um, and then I'm just trying to find my scrap piece of paper here. Okay. So what we're going to do, and I took a, just a scrap piece of Whisper White, and I made kind of a, a snowy bank. You can, I tried tearing it, I just didn't like the way that it looked, so... I went ahead and I just cut a, um, I just cut an image there. So now I'm just going to kind of go a little bit more than a third of the way up from the bottom. I'm going to bring in my soft sky ink and an ink blending tool. And I'm just going to start inking. Start off of the page or off of your cardstock so that you don't get the harshest lines there. Um, just until you can prime your your ink and then I'm going to go ahead and start carrying it up and I'll work off and then on and then we'll meet in the middle again just to prevent any harsh lines when you're inking your your card so I want to make sure I get a nice nice coverage on the entire top two-thirds okay I think that's good and then there we've got a nice a nice defined snowbank image there all right our next piece is going to be taking the um, the tree image from sheltering tree and I'm going to use my chocolate chip ink you could use your early espresso here. I didn't want it quite as dark. Uh, okay, so ink that up well. And I'm going to put that over here to the left side. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's both on the snow part as well as, so I'm going to focus right here. Um, I want the tree, and I'm going to have it actually go off just a little as well. Okay, so just stamp that down. Just make sure, just giving it a second for all the ink to transfer. Okay, nice, I love it. Um, I am actually going to go back in and I'm going to put in a little bit more, just a lighter, just a lighter inking. Just gonna maybe pounce it a little bit. I don't wanna smear that chocolate chip ink. Just so. I didn't realize how much white I had on my card base here. Okay, so we need actually a little bit more ink on here because it's not. I don't want it as heavy, so I'm just going to kind of go in and brush it in there. Because I still want that to look white right there where the tree is. But I just want maybe, you know, a little bit more definition that there's additional hills. So other oh, that's good. So you probably can't really see that's very, very light. So you can see right there where it's kind of adding another little layer in there. All right. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use the little tree or the um the little bike. Um uh, it's pretty much gonna be a very um not a whole lot of colors on this card because I want the reds to pop. I'm going to use red in the bicycle um, and I'm going to put a bird in the red as well. So I'm going to use my Memento Tuxedo Black to stamp my bicycle. I haven't used this one in a while, so. Okay. And then I'm just going to Kind of have it down here. Okay. 
And then I'm going to take the piece, the center piece, I'm going to make that red. I'm also going to stamp the cardinal from the white Christmas as well. Um, but let's, again, I only wanted, the only pops of color I wanted were the red. Let's make sure we get this lined up properly. Oh, perfect. I love it. All right. And then I'm going to stamp my, um, I'm going to stamp my bird in here. Just trying to figure out where I want to put him. I think I'll put him right there. And actually, you know what? I don't want to stamp him in red. I want to stamp him in black because I'm going to color him. Okay. So the Memento Tuxedo Black. Let's make sure he's really nicely inked up. And now I'm just going to stamp him right here on this branch. Okay, awesome. And then I need to stamp my sentiment, which is um, the, we're using the Tis the Season from the Versatile Christmas set. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my stamp a because I want, because these are red rubber stamps, I can't see through them. And I wanna make sure that I get the right placement on this. So I'm actually gonna do this in black. I'm just gonna put it right down here at the bottom. It looks pretty. Sorry, it's taking a little bit longer to line up. I just want to make sure I get it just right. Okay, so I think that's good. I'm going to ink that up in the black. Make sure it's going the right direction, which it was not. Okay, and then just line it up in the corner straight down I can move that now okay all right and now I'm just going to oh, let me just go ahead and color color in our bird real quick and I'm just using the real red Stamp and write marker. Okay, so we just have the red from the bird and from the bicycle. And then um, I do need another piece of Whisper White for the inside so we can stamp the inside sentiment. Get that cut real quick. Okay, and I also use the stamp and the jig for this as well. <clears throat> So here we're going to use the piece that says wishing the best of Christmas, best of times this Christmas. And I just want that centered in the middle. Okay. Super useful tool. I, I don't know what took me so long to start using the, um, the stamp of a jig. Okay. And just again, line that up in the corner, straight down. Straight up, nice and dark. Okay, and now we just need to assemble. Bring in my card base, which is a piece of, sorry about that, <laughs> which is a piece of real red cut at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I'm gonna go ahead and layer that piece, the piece we just stamped on the, in the middle, or in the inside, just regular snail. No, I think I might actually put the little birdie in there. I'm going to put the little bird in there. I'm living on the edge. Right, I'm going to ink him up and I'm going to put him right up here. Like he's standing on the W from the wishing. Oh, I think that's cute. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and uh, color him real quick as well. Love it. That's awesome. Okay, so get 
that piece down. I'm going to bring in my image here, which has a smudge on it. Okay, and we are just going to layer that with snail as well. centered in there and this the reason I cut that a little shorter is because I really wanted the reds to pop so we have that and then if you wanted to you could take the um, the snowflakes from the sheltering tree set and stamp that in there um, and add some sparkle if you'd like uh, I think uh, we can go ahead and just try it um, so I'm going to go ahead and actually, I'm going to cover over this because we did that inking and obviously I should have done this before I put it on the card, but I wasn't quite sure I wanted to. And then I had that little smudge there. So we're going to cover that up. All right. So I'm going to take my Versamark ink and I'm going to take those little snowflake images and I'm just going to make sure I cover over that one. Definitely. And then I'm just going to stamp these guys randomly. And I'm going to use the iridescent ice. Okay, let's see if I have a nice one more spot up here. Okay, and then I'm going to take the iridescent ice embossing powder and then I'm going to sprinkle that over actually I'm just going to go ahead and dump that right onto my, my little mat here and then I'll pour it back in okay so now I've got some snowflakes in the background. I actually look like I could get one more in there right here. Okay. It's not going to cover up that black smudge, but at least it'll distract from it. And then I'm going to hit that with my tool. Everything is heated, and there is our finished card project. Oops. I hope that you liked today's card project, and you'll give me a thumbs up, let me know that you did, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment. I'll see you later this week.